And here we are on the skies of Miramar. And uh, kind of like the observer's going to be trying to catch the plane. There we go. Uh, let's see. The captain's going to be in place. We can see the Swedish flag immediately. This is going to be Momme, <laughs> who's going to be the first passenger on the first row of the plane. As we do have Germany already jumping on the southern side. So it's going to come from the south. going to be heading somewhere on the north, uh, westish side. Maybe it's going to be heading towards Alcantara, more or less. Uh, that's going to be more or less the trajectory. But the teams are dropping down. It's going to go towards La Copreria. So not completely all the way to Al 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 Alcantara. But we can see Germany take it the southern places. Then we can see also, uh, for example, Serbia jumping from the plane. We can see uh, also Croatia around the Los Leones area. So those teams are there. Uh, actually, multiple teams heading towards Sumatera. That could be a thing. Uh, of course, Turkey, if they're going to be playing kind of like the... Uh, the DA places between the Chumachera and Pecado, that seems to be the case, as we have Norway actually heading towards Pecado, we have Belgium going for the Minas General, etc. So, uh, and there we have the whole bunch of the shoots on the air, which are, well, I mean, we have Banakai, and uh, we do have also Prodex as the whole team, but then we do have, I mean, don't be a fool about the flags, that's going to be two different teams, it's going to be Hungary, and also uh, Bulgaria, so the teams who actually just joined the final, that's going to be like a, your first lesson of the um, geometry here on the uh, on Europe. <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? The first game that these two teams join, they land right on top of each other. So they've got to be a little bit careful right now as Hungary and Bulgari start, Bulgaria start to flex on towards each other right now. As the circle has popped out to the south, both teams are going to be inside zone. So most players now, they're already centered inside zone, but there's still a few that have to make it in. One of those teams is going to be Belgium as Corsac sends it in. He needs to be careful because yo, he's right ahead. They tried to run him over and it's Silas that finds it, gets the knock and the kill as well. Yo is going to be out of the fight for good right now. An unfortunate place to flip the vehicle as Flamey. Oh, he's going to be following a similar fate. He's flipped his vehicle. Belgium going to be he's moving hiding. in. But it is the play of the century right now. He is chilling in inside the vehicle not wanting to give anything away flamey please man please just pop out and pick up some kills because that would just be the competitive play of the century right now he's gonna be holding that place and uh, i mean i'm just waiting for that moment i i'm quite sure the chunks is waiting that as well when he's gonna be popping there and you know destroying everything from the side I am just so excited because I know that Flammy is one of those players that can do some big damage right now, that can make something big happen. Kill Yikai, another one of those, but he's going to be taking out the fight, denied from letting any more happen for the time being. It's Gadrilla that's able to connect on towards QBE, though, so it is going to slow things down. A Serbia now with only two players left up. you got to feel like they're in trouble right here. A Stush is going to be really far back, going for a couple shots on towards the player from Bosnia, making a rotate. It's Swedish that's gone down, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, that second player not quite following to Serbia for the time being. Just playing it slow, holding back inside the warehouse. As the circle has popped, it's move over to the east. Serbia are going to be happy and still, how is Flamey still alive? Belgium haven't spotted him out. This might just work out for him right here. This is, this is madness. This is one of the bravest plays I've ever seen. And he's still inside the circle as well. I don't think Belgium expected him to be here now. But you've got to think, if Silas gets shot and goes prone to take cover, he's going to be able to see him underneath this Murado right here. Oh, no, he's going to see him. <laughs> he's going to oh, roll there. Oh, oh no, there's a guy, and now they're going to start shooting. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, Silas! That is a uh, that's got that's got to be a little nerve wracking right there. You go prone to take some cover to pop a boost, and you just see an enemy staring dead in the eyes of you. He manages to pop up and gets the kill. Now Belgium, they're going to be a little bit more confident. They push over on towards Mac and Dark, and HS going to be going down as well. So Sweden, these two players aren't going to be much use anymore. Down they go, and Sweden now with only one player left up in the fight. He's no Nowhere near. He's all the way up to the north, and he's catching a lot of fire. Yeah, we have Ukraine actually pushing on Belgium, uh, Bulgaria, sorry, and then we have Joker hacks getting Swedish. That orange will get nanobats, so that's going to be an opening for Ukraine, and it's going to be Ukraine. They will try to find something else. We do have two other players outside of the warehouse as well, and they will try to, of course, speak something. I mean, Ukraine trying to find that information where the rest of the players are because it's a it's a large compound. There's a lot of small boxes, a lot of containers, a lot of walls as well, so the players can be hiding. Of course, they got to be well. We can see where they are, but the players don't. 
but they will be very careful about it. Louis is going to be getting pixel down at the same time. The so Russia is going to be getting a knock at least towards Czech Republic. As we can see, Ukraine moving inside. They will go inside. They want to find those angles because he already plays from the B B Bulgaria outside. And they will actually open the fire. And that's going to be a problem because his webs already spotted. Oh, this is going to be just, you know, crash rushing here all the way. Wants to find an angle. The guy is going to be hiding there behind the dumpster. And Arti is going to be now spotting the disgrace. It's going to be killing a different story. So the audio cues will come from the other players. And Arti is just waiting. Mom getting three guys from Austria with the one nade. That's going to be a, a lot of players actually falling down at the same time. But still, the situation is going to happen here. And we can see also Hungary joining for the fight from this combat. As we can see, Ukraine still fighting with the Bulgaria. And the third is going to come as well. Belgium quite far away from here. They can't really do anything about it because the Arctic's getting flashed down. And uh, Ukraine, they're kind of like, you know, they got inside of the warehouse. But now they are kind of like trying to look away out from there. And they really can't go from these small doorways because that's what the, uh, the guys are definitely watching. But now from the minimap, we can see Hungary actually piling there on the northern side. And they should be finding some angles towards Bulgaria. Nice net coming towards Ooh. Webs, but he's still going to keep his life there on the dumpster, even though he will take a huge amount of damage. Molly is going to catch oh, and that's no. going to be it. Oh, it's going to get swept down. That's going to be one. Perfect is going to be getting inside as well. Spider has been knocked down at the same time. Putex will fight that with a nade. Swept's going to fall down completely as Hungary still waiting there on the north side. Also, Belgium very eager to welcome these guys inside of the circle as well. But Putex Bankai is still holding the front as we do have two other teams uh, heading towards them all the time. And Ukraine, they will do the revivals. Putex going to be holding at a different angle and it's just a matter of time when the Ukraine is going to be finally moving towards the rest of the guys as we can still see Hungary waiting there on the north. Yeah, we see Bulgaria sweeping in. Booz is going to be able to take down Spyro's heart. He goes down to Bankai. Beautiful two-man play coming out from Bulgaria as they get more and more aggressive on towards this. The hit fire comes out. It's perfect. It's able to take down Bankai. Now Buz needs to move in to try and provide some support. Focuses on the flush. Whether that's the right play or not, we are yet to find out. But he isn't going to be able to confirm all of them just yet. There's still players alive from Ukraine, but not for long as the M4 spray connects down. And they go in 14th position. Serbia following suit in 13th. As now the final player left up. It's Malmi from Sweden. Able to pick up two kills out of it. Making it three overall for them. But with only one player up. They have a long way to go to make it into the top half of the standings. Into the top two to qualify for the grand finals. Yeah, that is true. Germany is going to be watching here on the south. It's going to be Belgium and uh, Germany. They're going to be fighting here as we can see. They are just waiting to see how this is going to go all the way in the end but I mean Germany just watching Belgium is going to be there on the deep field it's going to be at Lourdes also Russia is going to be getting some casualties as well and Germany with the form and song they're kind of like you know waiting when they're going to be jumping on these guys they'll also spot the players from the previous fight which the, uh, the Belgium was actually watching earlier and now we have the spray coming from Ripen it's going to be Hungary getting Bangai down from Bulgaria Bulgaria is going to be taken down so it's going to be Hungary who was waiting there on the northern side all the time they will flush down the kills and now they will be actually starting to move towards the northern side but there's going to be Croatia waiting on the north and they will be actually dodging away from Belgium and this might actually mean that Germany finally has the spot to open the fire towards Belgium on the northern side we do have Russia taken down it's gonna be Tommy L gonna get also to one shot towards Czech Republic so it's be fighting and now we can see Brolix nice spray oh! coming Zico Nixie falling for that one and Hungary they will still want to go for it they want to get the flosses as well that's gonna be two more points for them but they know that they could be actually catching something from this one Pixel gonna fall down as well because Tommy L is gonna get that plus and now it's going to be Germany going for Silence. It's going to be Silence from Belgium. Going to fall down. It's going to be still two more players. It's going to be Korsak and Fritz uh, on the, um, well, more or less on the western side from them. Markov's going to be moving the vehicle because he breaks or getting Fritz down. So it's going to be all the Korsak. Korsak's going to try to deal some damage from that shack. But there's going to be also players from, from the both sides. Uh, it's going to be smoked and a lot of shots. And that's going to be Belgium falling down. I mean, when you see all those white lines on the map, it's always a problem for you. That puts Germany up into first place right now. Seven points for them so far and also getting into the placement as well. That's going to give them a little bit of a boost. As Mome goes, goes down, Sweden's hopes are going to be eliminated for at least this game. They've still got one more this evening that'll give them the opportunity to qualify, though. Czech Republic out in seventh. That allows them to move it down to fourth. Norway now. There's going to be any nades coming on that area. Now it's going to be an over-opening fire towards the Turkey. 
have shots, Captain Hyman will take Schofield down, more shots will come still, and that's going to be Mert falling down as well, Havana's going to be stealing that for Austria, for so Norway, definitely doing a job, you can see 8 points for them, Germany with 8 points as well from the from the kills, and now we can see Paint going for Godzilla, Godzilla's going to open the fire, and now Paint's not, he's going to be hiding behind this hay pass, he needs to be somewhere, will be spotted, and now they will just go for it, they will push, they will go, and that's going to be a spray, headshot, Ooh. and Godzilla falls, and top 4 still remains. That is now Germany out in first, but Norway are looking to close the gap as the nades start to land through. It's a little bit wide of the doorway. Let's connect on towards Saledi right now. Tom Hill going to be going down. Brexco starts to open up. Hyman still surviving as the final player left for Norway, but you got to feel like he's going to struggle right now as Germany just get more and more control. It's Ivers that comes in from behind with the long range shots, destroying Hyman's back. And there it is. Down go Norway out in fourth position. Nate it's gonna come and we can see Bryce just going for it. He knows he's gonna be gone. That's gonna be Havana falling. The point will come. 11 kill and the Shaq. That's gonna be the last player on fire. Bryce gets him down as well. Austria is eliminated. The Germany 12 kills and at least 18 points from this game. That should be enough. And now we have Croatia. I was holding and trying to hold it. That's gonna be two. Uh, well too unlucky because that's gonna be Germany getting the 13th kill as well and the chicken dinner. I pray my day be the biggest the apple time So I can fuck my world for 72 hours Goddamn, I feel amazing